Hello, everybody. I'm Mark. And I'm that, Casey. That's Casey. Really, it is. That, that's Casey right there. That dot. That's him. Yeah. That's him. <laughs> Casey, roll the title for us. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Test of Life Shorts or Express. We haven't decided on a name. Put it in the comments. Good. Put in the comments what you like. But um, yeah, Casey, uh, you look a little bit different than uh, when I last saw you on Monday. Yeah, but... my uh, my computer decided it didn't want to. Uh, this this app is saying that my camera's in use, despite being the only video app that's running right now. <laughs> well, look at that. We're running with technical difficulties, but we're still going through it. So today. We wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, new story that uh, came across uh, our eyes, and that was about um, what is labeled as possible Tesla hate in San Francisco, or, or maybe it's just regular crime. Um, we had a story uh, that uh, talked about how a Model Y uh, was lit up on fire recently uh, in an overnight on-street parking spot, and then... Uh, just a couple hours later, and about two or three blocks away, another Model Y uh, was burnt in a similar fashion. Uh, both vehicles were a total loss. Um, in fact, uh, the the uh, the first one that was uh, 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 the arson was applied to was it it actually damaged a tree that was nearby, and of course uh, a vehicle that was parked in front of it. Uh, it burnt its bumper as well. So uh, there is video uh, of the first vehicle being torched uh, where we've got a, a person in a, a hoodie, uh, a black hoodie coming up to uh, the vehicle and stuffing the passenger uh, front wheel well with some sort of flammable, like uh, possibly a newsprint or uh, something along that paperish uh, type material, then uh, lighting it with a lighter and then quickly uh, walking away down the sidewalk as the vehicle started to burn. Wow! Um, and uh, not not a not a connected thing. Um, the two in San Francisco, obviously the two Model Ys that were burnt on the same night. The police are looking into whether or not it is a connected uh, thing if it's the same person. But in a non-connected uh, thing, we can see, of course, there's. There's many smash-ins, uh, breaking inside of vehicles that uh, Teslas have been plagued with, as well as other vehicles. So not really sure. Uh, Casey, do you think that this is a, a Tesla hate crime, or is this uh, really just um, crime in general that are in some of these big cities? Certainly a possibility. And I was going to ask if we knew about the whereabouts of all of the uh, Giga Berlin arsonists, because uh, it sounds extremely familiar. Um, right. Well, those were in the, the same uh, city center area of Berlin. Uh, obviously, Berlin is a huge uh, city, but um, there were a couple of uh, burned vehicles there as well. And the police are working on whether there's a connection there. Um, so wondering if, uh, yeah, this is this is something that uh, that is spreading. Is this something that's targeting uh, Tesla owners? Certainly, uh, the video uh, feed of the, the people that were involved in this particular one, which we will link uh, below uh, in the notes if you'd like to go see that, um, they were uh, shocked uh, that uh, their vehicle was targeted uh, and burnt. And um, a number of people on that particular street, because these were high rises around these vehicles, uh, it's not like it was a um, suburban community. This was this was a kind of a downtown area of San Francisco, uh, where condos, uh, tall condos, were in place, and uh, a number of people expressed concern about having their vehicle on the street. Um, maybe they should start paying for underground parking, uh, where. The, uh, the lot is monitored and videotaped uh, so that they can protect their investments. So, yeah, yeah, kind of strange times we're in. So if this were a uh, like a superhero movie or, or a crime solver uh, dramatic twist movie, we'd find out that the, uh, that the garage owners were the ones setting these cars on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think of that. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, actually, I can share a picture of the uh, first guy that got caught on video. 
Here he is, uh, bending down to light the flammable paper or newsprint uh, that he put on the uh, front tire. And of course, this smoldered away quite quickly and caught onto the inner, inner fender uh, plastics and then started to burn and eventually the whole car. This, the guy with the red car here, he's, he's the one that got his bumper burnt. And of course this tree here uh, caught a little bit on fire on its tree trunk and of course burnt some of the, uh, the green uh, leaves that were above it. That's how uh, my first electric car fire happened. Um, a friend of mine, she was driving her Volts and she got hit by a Jeep that was already on fire and then the Volt lit up. Oh, so she was hit by a car that was already on fire. Yeah. Man, that is unfortunate. <laughs> it was. Uh, they got a new Volt, but... Uh, oof. Yeah, so that's that's the problem here with uh, this particular area. Now, luckily, um, they at least had a camera. Uh, someone had a camera uh, that was facing the street from maybe a second or third story uh, balcony. But um, this uh, this would certainly give me pause about uh, parking my vehicle. The Actually, the second uh, person that got their car uh, burnt that night, uh, they were just in visiting a family uh, for the evening. And um, unfortunately, they had to uh, rent a vehicle so that they could drive back uh, to um, uh, Seattle area. So uh, their car was uh, burnt uh, to chars uh, sitting in San Francisco and, and was not going to move. So they actually had to rent a vehicle to get home. Yeah, this, this, these kind of stories right here make it make you think many, many times about driving in uh, San Francisco or Oakland. It's like uh, kind of like we talked about at the end of our uh, our live show that, uh, last week, where is, 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 is there is there is there enough deterrent to uh, to kind of keep honest people honest and to catch uh, these these criminals. Exactly. And that's, that, that's, uh, it's funny you mention that because I know that when I was going on my big trip uh, from Ontario to California uh, and planning on spending uh, you know, 11 or 12 days on the road, I started to see the, the Tesla break-ins that were going on at that time. And, that, and at that time, it was just the smash and grabs, break the back mm -hmm. window, flip the seats down, grab anything that they can get their hands on. And I was thinking, geez, do I want to go to these cities? And uh have my vehicle somewhere, but you know, obviously, it's a small amount of vehicles are actually broken into, and they the odds are them. <laughs> yeah, the odds are certainly uh, with you that you won't be one of them. But you know, it, it just seems that this is a continual problem. Uh, we just talked about this uh, a couple of days ago with the Cybertruck. Uh, we got somebody that you know is is out there smashing vehicles, uh, just trying to smash and grab and run away, and they caused hundreds if not thousands of dollars worth of damage with, you know, three separate broken windows on the vehicle because they couldn't get into the one they wanted to. Yeah. Um, this is a, this is a bad situation. And um, hopefully this person, uh, uh, if it's a single person for the two fires or two separate people, I ho hopefully they're caught and prosecuted to the full extent of the law uh, because ultimately we're all going to pay the price because uh, guess what? Our insurance rates go up. And uh, we're required to pay those insurance rates uh, regardless. And um, we've just got people here that are pushing it up um, through no fault of ours, but we end up holding the bag. Yeah, and it's not just car insurance either. Like, um, look at uh, look at Florida with the the homeowners insurance. They they they're making it harder and harder to 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 keep that. And, exactly. And, sorry, it's not just car insurance. Not just Tesla owners. What I should said. So take that same model because it's the same concept take that and then apply it to every car in the san francisco oakland area and, and uh look at uh it's already happened for us with uh with with the the kia boys where uh if you had the, the the particular kia that that didn't have the engine immobilizer and could be broken into with no to simple tools uh there were insurance providers that wouldn't cover you there were uh parking garages that wouldn't let you in and it was just that could happen with the teslas it could happen with uh, just pretty much every car in, in this area, unless they get this under control. Exactly. Exactly. Well, with that, I think we will wrap it up. Uh, Casey, any shout outs from you this evening? Uh, yeah. So catch me over at uh, my channel at uh, youtube.com uh, slash Casey Green and uh, uh, 110 Eastern on Sundays. And we will talk about uh, similar concepts and uh, 
you actually get to see my wonderful, uh, pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, Spot is not appearing on that show, but we will see. We will keep an eye out for Spot to see if he's back. Uh, also, if you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, press that subscribe button if you haven't helped a small channel like ours. If you're thinking about buying a Tesla uh, in the near future, uh, please use our code. Uh, that will give you some discounts and help us out as well. Would really appreciate it. And with that, I think we'll wrap it up. We'll thank Lee Moon for the music we use every week. And we will talk to you next time on The Tesla Life.